Hello everyone. Welcome to the episode number 56 of Q&A series with Suresh GP. In the BRM series, we are going to talk about an important aspect that gets asked to me every time I do consulting, training and simulation games on business relationship management worldwide. What are the key failures and setbacks that happen while adopting BRM and when do you consider that as a failure now these are my tips of six aspects that contribute to the failures and setbacks in implementing BRM now as an organization a lot of times the changes in organizational structure and strategy impacts the overall smooth transitioning of business relationship management so every year as you start to look at organizational realignment org structure change the strategies also change so we need to make sure that there is a level of convergence towards the primary objective of why business relationship management function has been formed and are we able to match the needs of the organizational business partners value proposition the second part is lack of executive commitment many times people don't elucidate why we need to have a brm and the executive management needs to see the value of brm beyond just the role or a title how are you able to measure value what happens if we don't get to have a brm so i strongly recommend you to go through a executive overview and we'll be happy to provide you an insight of why business relationship management is an important function for organizations and executive leaders are kept up to date about why this needs to be of serious contention in the way we work the third aspect of that contributes to the failure is lack of service management maturity as i discussed in my last episode if you are keeping the lights on and tactical things are not in order and if it's breaking up every now and then then the opportunity for us to influence and move this forward is going to be very critical i always tell that it's very difficult to think strategic when your pans are on fire so that means your ability to improve your service management using best practices like itil is so important so that we we keep moving into process centric rather than being people centric and it is much more standardized the operations are much more seamless and people are able to move this forward from being tactical to strategic the fourth principle is brms are not perceived to be valuable because the it maturity level itself is very low and this is also one of the reasons that it um, leads to shadow it so if the it capability is very at the bottom level it's so important to lift and scale up the it capability so that the brms are perceived to be more valuable the fifth principle is that most of the times the brms don't have the domain knowledge for example if it's a tax and auditing firm do you have an understanding about how the tax domain works the auditing domain works what kind of use case scenarios are we dealing with and how it or other functions can help around it so if you don't have that domain knowledge and expertise then the brms can not perform their role better the final principle is about lack of prioritization criteria for initiatives in a portfolio if you have a portfolio manager and they have different aspects to drive to get that particular project or initiative to be successful if the prioritization is done well is not done well then there is a lot of conflict of priorities of which should be taken into precedence to get this executed so that is where we need to start thinking about an opportunity to have a prioritization calendar have a common criteria in how projects are going to be picked and so that everybody in the value chain has got a good understanding of how this initiative is tying it out to the big picture i hope that if you take into consideration all these factors then you can prevent failure and setback in the business relationship management implementation i hope that this edition was useful for you to understand how to be 
careful in implementing BRM as a role, as a discipline, as a capability. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Q&A series. Until then, keep watching and click on the subscribe button for automatic notifications of new videos. Thank you very much.